So I'm in Khao Yai National Park. Um, behind me is the waterfall that was in the movie The Beach, which I have not seen, but um, it's still like a good waterfall nevertheless. Um, I feel like maybe once you see Niagara Falls, it's hard to find waterfalls that are like amazing, but it's, yeah, it's good. Um, I'm not gonna say it's nice, because I say that a lot. <laughs> Uh, today has been great. It has just been so good. Um, so I have like, I'm in a group with seven other people and we have a guide and he's taking us uh, around. So we started off this morning and we were in a truck and we just like um, stopped when we saw animals. So we've seen kind of two lots of gibbons. Uh, the first one is like a dark one. If you're looking at the video, it's, um, like a dark kind of spot in the middle that moves around a little bit um, and yeah he was like leaping from tree to tree and there was another gibbon in a different tree and they were like fighting for territory and things um, and then we came across another gibbon which was white and actually so gibbons gibbons first of all don't have tails and that's what makes them gibbons um, they do everything in the trees, so they don't really ever come down. Um, they live in families of between, of like around eight. So we saw like a family that, um, I saw about four. I mean, there might have been more there, but we only saw four. So there was like a mummy with a baby, and then some other ones swinging around, and they were all white. Um, we saw them, you know, weeing, urinating, defecating from the trees. So, you know. That's always funny, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what kind of species it is, especially from the trees, it was kind of hilarious. Um, and then we went on this hike for a couple of hours through the um, kind of jungly wood thing. Um, we saw, oh, so before we did that, there was um, a deer, a samba deer, that was hanging out like near the lodge. Uh, and it was a baby one. Um, like just really not bothered by all the people around. Then we went into the woods, um, our guide, and we could hear like that there was an elephant not far away, but we haven't been able to track down the elephant yet. We saw um, a crocodile that is, uh, I mean, it just looks like a kind of gray lump on the sides of the river bank. Um, near the water, not in the water. It's quite hard to see because of all the branches that are in the way. There's, there are only two crocodiles that live here, so um, yeah, we were kind of lucky to have seen that. And then <laughs> the guide, like, one point pulled out a scorpion from its nest. That was pretty um, creepy and yucky and terrifying. Um, it. I touched it, it felt just like a hard shell. He put it on some people's arms. I was not one of those people. Uh, and, oh, um, when we were driving around this morning, we saw a hornbill bird, which looks a lot like a toucan, but it is smaller, and there are no toucans here. So it has like a yellow head, so you can kind of make it out through um, uh, in the photos. So this is the last thing on the trip another waterfall, slightly more impressive waterfall. Um, it's just been like a really fun day. I'm really hot and sticky and sweaty. Um, yeah, it's just been great. No elephants so far. That's the only thing. Tomorrow I head to hopefully to Lao. I'm heading certainly north. Um, if I can make it all the way to Yentian, that would be ideal. If not, then I'll have to spend the night on the Thai side of the border.